Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the uh, legendary Iron Man Army of Two run. We are in month number 7 and uh, this is probably the last Guerrilla Ops before our adventure is being shot down. Our biggest problem besides having an almost filled um, avatar project is we have uh, very, very many uh, injured soldiers. Renman and Reaper, uh, so Outrider, <clears throat> are the only two uh, available at the moment. I equipped the Skulljack, elsewise I equipped a little bit of ammunition and that's pretty much uh, straightforward what we're going to do. We're trying to um, stealth the mission because we need to uh, steal an object and afterwards kill everyone. The two have no healing and uh, besides stealth abilities they might not be the best uh, team to uh, to to synergize with one another. They can stealth quite well, but uh, once they're being caught out, I don't think that they have a lot of uh, synergy. Definitely not as much as uh, the others. Renvin is uh, pretty much um, as an assault and all-out character, and he could require high ground and a lot of cover removal because the shotgun is just very inaccurate on longer distance. So that usually goes well together with Zirkim. Um, Dragunov on the other hand could use the sniper. Both is not available. Anyways, we find ourselves at an interesting location. This here is the docks and honestly I haven't been fighting a lot at the docks. So let's take a close peek here. They have a patrol moving here. Ooh, look at you. Time to motor. I'm aggressively moving in because I do want to make sure we keep our timing. Timing might be one of uh, the most important aspects in this particular mission. Moving out. I'm not even sure if that's a full pack, but whatever. We're definitely going to remote start it. It is a pack. Position confirmed. Oh. So, hmm, that's a tough one. Probably not, not enough to kill him with one shot, which would be nice if we if we would kill it with one shot, uh, we would get death from above. So we have a nice position here, but since we don't have that, I would currently wait. They don't know where we are. Alright, we can kill the heavy mech. That's good. Um, before we do that, let's reload. reload. And start attacking the heavy mech. There we go. Didn't get through the armor. And this here should be a kill. Plus it would reveal us. We missed a 95% shot. How unfortunate. That somewhat um, destroyed my plan. 
I was hoping that we're actually hitting the 95% shot. Don't you dare using rockets. Yep, that's a solid five points of damage. Suppression. Luckily, we're, we landed in cover. See, that's a real problem. Missing one shot. And all of a sudden you are in a totally bad position. Watch closely. All right. By the way, I'm setting it up for some nice place here. I still want death from above. There we go, that's the trigger plus here trigger. thinking where would be where could we position ourselves nicely like that's not bad how about this here no too far away too far away can't position ourselves here ah that's too bad i'm looking for high ground with at least some sort of cover but that's quite literally blown away Could move to here, okay, um, with run and gun, take a single shot, and kill the mutant with uh, blade storm. It's probably the best choice. Play it aggressively. All right, shotgun to the face. Hello there, buddy. How's it going, man? All right, that's Blade Storm. Plus untouchable. There we go. And the other Blade Storm will kill the mutant. Or will it? Lightning reflexes unfortunately blocks Blade Storm. We can remote start the car to get rid of Shadowbound. But we do not ha uh, yet have the ability to do that because it's still on cooldown. Five more turns, which means we need to get closer. Ah, 
Uh, you should really go to the car. Ah, uh, not there. Go to the car. Stand next to the car. <laughs> Come on, stand next to the car, man. Well, hello there! How's it going, guys? Good? Perfect! Lovely! Splendid! Wonderful! So, 89% chance, it's actually a very solid chance that we're one-shotting this guy. Uh, Two-third uh, chance that we're one-shotting it, and... A uh, pretty solid chance that we're one-shotting him as well. Six to eight? Mm, yeah, it's not bad. And a very, very solid chance to just stand here and do exactly that with both of them. All right. We played aggressively because we only have four more turns left. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's kill the Archon first. It's dead. It has to be dead. Ammo out. The blade uh, blade storm attack wouldn't trigger. I originally wanted to kill him, but uh, upon reconsidering, it's a safer play to kill okay, his okay. friend. And since Bladestorm doesn't really um, help, might as well ignore it for now. Untouchable. Alright, 75% shot, by the way. Yeah, we're, we're still good. Come on. Holy moly! Still in play, uh, in placeable. All right. Let's take a sneak peek, shall we? That's a long run. The advent captain okay. nearby. Got you, got you. Okay, we could. Still got two turns. I'll leave this, here. this here is a good starter. Come on, baby. Let's go. If we hit, that would be absolutely phenomenal. Could position ourselves here. Um, and then just take a normal shot. He will uh, uh, automatically die. Chain shot could kill it. We could also go a bit closer because we have him placeable and could go there. You know what? Let's stay here because that's actually full cover for now and it's close. I would go upstairs, but 
let's not overdo it. We do have Emplaceable and we should make use of it. There we go. Alright, come on, kill the mech. Nice little hit. Come on, Roby. Uh, Renvin, sorry. Good job. Well done. So, untouchable, unplaceable. Moving here. Bladestorm will kill him. And we're in range. There we go. Good job. Check it before you get too close. Yeah, we need to get to the objective. We'll get to you in a second. I'm coming for you. Run and gun. Already there. Hacking the chest. Oh, nice enemy protocol. Oh, nice enemy protocol. Come on, baby. Ah. Well, realistically, he doesn't really need it. Reload. Respectively, reload Overwatch. There's heavy fire in this zone. Perfect timing now to school Jack. Reloading. School Jack. And let's go. Very good. We have complete access to the Advent Bionic Network. I have dedicated our systems to processing the new data, but we will need to work fast. It is only a matter of time before they detect our... Commander, that appears to be the codex responsible for safeguarding the alien data stores. We'll have to neutralize it if we intend to recover the data. Understood. Weapons hot. We've got our target. Moving as ordered. There is a pretty high chance that we're going to crit, which would kill it. Come on. Nice. No one will want to work, Commander. It appears some physical remnant of the Codex was left behind when it dissipated. Hopefully. It will provide some insight into the alien's ongoing plans. What's over there? All right, time to look for the last pack. We're going to use high ground here. Having high ground with Renman is a good idea because he is dead from above. I am trusting you. Okay, I'll go. We'll position him here for now. We know the pack seems to be like here, at least that's what I just saw. Volk says I am to obey. 
Interesting. We got a couple of sectoids. I think I saw a sector it's and a specter. Is there anything to remote start? I see everything. Moving to Overwatch. Let's take a closer peek, shall we? It's indeed a bit of a, a remote start. Not sure if we're getting it though. This here is also remote startable, so I might as well go here and overwatch. Maybe they are moving. Of course, they are not. Hmm. Getting just a bit closer, so with run and gun, that we would have um, a better range on them. Because we're going to go for the Spectre first. Don't have any more Sting. If we were to run and gun, we would reach almost all of the positions. That's good. Solid chance to actually kill it. And also solid chance to not be revealed. So let's take a shot. Nice little crit. And we're not revealed. Good. That's not a bad idea. High ground. I actually like the idea. Because this here could be death from above. Oh, yeah. Death from above, I suppose. They're moving to flank me. All right. It ends with a nice little melee kill. Nice. We got wounded a bit, but other than that, we were fine. And really, missing a 95% shot, uh, you can plan for it, but there is no, no room for error in a two-man mission. And I'm not going to lie, I, I could have been just uh, instant killed if the mutant would have hit. Until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the 
So that was an interesting mission. I actually liked it. As long as there is even one Reaper left standing. 70 kills, nice. And only 8 days of wounding. That's pretty good. Codex Brain is good. Couple of corpses, that's not bad either. Mainly the Codex uh, piece is good. Another impressive effort, Commander. Kill Codex, reduce the avatar progress by 2. And we encountered a dark event, plus got an engineer. It was a really good mission. So look at it. We're now full steam ahead with our engineers. Eight engineers even. Like our engineer count is good now. It's really good. And we're making really nice progress. Oh, resistance contexts are so important. Let's continue building the relay here first. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, since we had no other soldiers, we were basically putting uh, one of our kind of reserve soldiers onto the mission. Uh, we, are, we are now level one uh, with uh, the Reapers. Any recruits in the GGS will um, achieve the rank of sergeant. That's a good, um, that's a pretty good uh, resistance order, but we're not um, creating a lot of recruits at the moment. So, our influence with the resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the chosen. If you look at If you look at the number of days that we're having, it's nine days. So there is definitely room for one more quest. And the soldier that we just uh, leveled was uh, Cyber, uh, who is now promoted. Similarly to Data, he's now a lieutenant. So we do have two specialists. That's actually pretty good. Um, I'm a bit concerned about us getting shot down because we have so little supplies. My kind know all too well of the human so what could we get? A promotion is nice. If we would put Renman in uh, in there, it would be outright genius. Six days, perfect. A lot of health reduce. Oh, reduce avatar progress. Oh, holy moly! And the promotion. Okay, how? How is it even possible to say no to that? It isn't. So we put cyber onto this mission. We have insufficient resources to prevent capturing. No, we need to get the supplies. Onwards to the. Uh, onwards to the black market. Avenger plotting new course. And we're getting enough to build another um, mother, another mad kit. I'm actually willing to get rid of uh, one Ethereum core. Hmm, we can get rid of one hair trigger. I mean, we don't need that many weapon upgrades. Hair trigger is okay, but I prefer a repeater. It's a level one hair trigger for 5% chance.
Okay. So, back to the resistance ring. facility is currently idle. If we have the soldiers to spare, we should deploy them on a covert action with the resistance. So who's taking the promotion? I think that's uh, the valuable question. I am tempted to be greedy and put Outrider there. Okay. But that would mean we're going into the defend the Avenger mission completely without her. And I think we can't afford to do that. I just don't think that's a good idea. Maybe we're just putting another sharpshooter out there um, to get him to the lieutenant rank. I don't see us using a corporal, but then again, I also don't see us using a lieutenant a lot. We need a second specialist for the defend, uh, defending of the Avenger. We can put Pretel Mox there, so he finally gets to the corporal level instead of being a uh, squatty. But technically, it's more effective to just let him die and regain him via a mission because then he would, I think, start as a captain or major. So that's actually a very, very bad idea. Um, hmm. Good question, Senor Saiken. Good question. Could use Dark Tower Naxos just because he's a really cool character. But we don't need a squaddy there. The promotion is somewhat important and I feel we're wasting it. I don't want to be that greedy. It's a really tough decision, guys. Outrider would be Good, very good in in uh, in going on to these uh, missions. Uh, let's really quickly outrider load out. Let's not give her a blue screen round. I am going to be greedy. I'm probably going to regret it. Avatar progress, Cyber, Dragonova, and someone's getting wounded. But that's pretty, pretty, pretty good. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. All right, I'm completely relying on the idea that I can still defend with the little resources that I do have available. We do have two med kits, I didn't know that. So we're instead getting a third piece of blue screen rounds. Because uh, they will be helpful. All right, continue building a radio relay. We're soon going to be shut down. Nice, we got a spider suit. I like it. Let's take one more ammunition. How much, by the way, is 40 supplies for the axe? Before we get ammunition, I think we should get the axe because it, the axe is actually really good. So, 
We're certainly not selling faceless corpses. We are a bit shy on resources. I hate to sell alien alloys, but we need the corpses. By the way, we need Elarium crystals. I can already buy those because the month is over soon. And we will need a lot for the weapon upgrades. I have often wondered why the elders would entrust their knowledge within a being so tempered. Okay, we want to have the hunter's X first. I like the Shadow Keeper as well, but the X is actually really, really good. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. If we survive this month, there is a realistic chance that we can get back into the game. I mean, there is 200 plus, uh, probably 250 after we build the radio relay. So almost 500 uh, supply waiting for us. Yeah, more. It's 500 supply. Plus we get another contact here. If you max out your contacts, the game will more likely give you uh, scans for contacts. So this year will give us Europe and access to a facility with three bleeps on it. Beautiful. Game is working in our favor at the moment. Uh, the only thing we need to do is survive the, the ambush. It's nothing on this end. All systems check out. It's almost as if our own signal is bouncing back at us. Did I just mention ambush? All right. The they to find Event the uh, Avenger. I was uh, thinking about how to deal with it, to be honest. And here is actually what I came up with. Um, you can't defend the Avenger with only two uh, soldiers. I mean, you theoretically can, but then again, you can't because uh, the uh, Bradford will uh, send out soldiers one after the other from the barracks until you are, I think, at 10 soldiers and then he uh, continues to send them out uh, when new soldiers die. So what I'm going to do, and that's actually a huge, um, a huge um, a burden on, uh, on myself is, I am going to start with only two uh, soldiers, which means on the successive uh, turns, Redford will slowly but surely send out the other soldiers. Um, and the reason why that's a huge burden is uh, the Avenger Assault very much lives and dies by a timer and you need to stop the actual yeah, Avenger Assault um, as it is uh, happening. So just wanted to let you know that that's a thing and I am actually considering how to how to how to still do it with only two soldiers it is going to be very very difficult for the uh, for the get-go because normally the missions are timed to give you uh, to to be a fair representation or a fair challenge for swords with six soldiers uh, so we might run into a bit of a timing issue here but yeah then again that's that's the life it was uh, quite um, portrayable that at some time we uh, we need to defend the Avenger and I did a couple of decisions myself such as putting um, uh, putting operatives away onto missions uh, that were dangerous like the covered ops mission right now which was my f uh, free decision so it is what it is we're going to defend with what we have but that's going to happen in the next mission might be the last mission in the run so stay tuned um, and uh, cross your thumbs uh, because that's going to be a difficult one. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up and uh, you might uh, want to give it a like once in a while. Thank you and have a great evening.